Good morning. Happy Vlogtober. So today um, is actually an exciting day. day so, is, day is, day is. Babe. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Oh, damn. Are you loud so, right now? No, babe. Hold oh. On. So today is actually an exciting day because it is the Doggo Festival. So I'm super excited. Doggo. Um, so last time I was at Festival Park, um, yeah, we had a little incident that happened. We <laughs> thought it was fucking Coachella and um, <laughs> Woodstock <laughs> Festival. So y'all know I'm going to have a story time on this, but um, so we ended up taking an edible and getting high out of our minds. It was supposed to be CBD, but it clearly wasn't. I was tweaking out. Um, but yeah, I would definitely have a video coming soon about this, but as you can see, I don't know what's going on. Hey, guys. So today is actually an exciting day because it's Doggo Festival. Uh, so today I am getting ready to go to the Dogwood Festival, which I'm so happy that I remembered. And I just got out the shower. I haven't moisturized or anything yet. I did want to try out, I wanted to try the Laneige free sample. And, and growing up, I used to have um, oily skin and now I have combination skin so i'm actually going to put this on before i do my sunscreen it's a real it doesn't really have a smell and it's actually enough in here for two so i'll put this on tonight as well mm. it feels nice it feels like a i don't know if you've ever used a product with squalene in it it's it's giving very much squalene it feels good nice and cooling so yeah i'm definitely excited to see if my skin likes it i have very sensitive skin so yeah and i'm just i'm just tying on my i just they did my hair and i'm just excited for today to all see. right so i'm just using my sunscreen y'all know my favorite black girl sunscreen y'all it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Like, honestly, I feel like this is the best my skin has ever looked. All right, so I'm back. Um, I had to go pay my landlord his rent. And <laughs> I went ahead and did brows and also color corrected my face. Um, I was going to do my neck too, but we'll just put foundation on there because I can't find my color corrector anymore. Because I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So, who's the best boyfriend? Is it babe? Oh my god, where was it, babe? On the, on the couch. So, they found it. So, yeah, we're gonna go to go ahead and color correct all the way down. What I figured is, you know, I've been doing Vlogtober and you don't really know much about me. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. So I figured today we can do a get to know me while I do my makeup. So I was born in uh, Washington, D.C., September 22nd, 1993 at D.C. General Hospital. Around 530-ish in the morning. I think that's about right. So, yeah, I was born in DC, stayed there until I was about 14. And then we moved to North Carolina. 29 years old. I just turned 29 as most of you of uh, I am 29 years old. I just turned 29. As most of you know, um, if you don't, I do have my birthday video down probably about 13 videos ago. But yeah, I'm 29. Is I have a lot of favorite colors. Um, right now, I'm really liking, which 
sage green has me in a chokehold like you would never know like it just looks so good on everybody it's just a nice universal color so if i had to pick a favorite color because i do like a lot of greens i like olive green alpine green funny story about that um i didn't know it was alpine and i was calling it apple until somebody corrected me and was like no it's german it's alpine so alpine green is really cute um i still have the 13 pro max so my phone i have the alpine green it's giving more emerald jade green. It's it's a really nice color. I really like it. My boyfriend would swear my favorite day of the week is Tuesday because I'm always saying stuff on Tuesday. Tuesday is like my go-to date. But honestly, my nickname when I was younger was Thursday. So if I had to be honest, I would say my favorite day of the week is Thursday. Why do I like Thursday? Because it's like the pre-game to, you know, your rest. I mean, come on, let's, the weekend, Sunday, once you hit Sunday, your weekend is over. You might as well just pack everything up. But Thursday is just like, oh yeah, you got a lot to look forward to. Right now, I am addicted to Chinese food and Asian food. Well, I guess sushi is Japanese. My sisters would know. So my favorite food at the moment is sushi. Oh my God, I can't get enough sushi. Again, um, I have very sensitive skin and my skin hates me. That's why y'all always seeing me put stuff on my face. So I can't drink soda. It instantly breaks me out. Even thinking about a soda, I have a pimple on my face watch i'm gonna have a pimple on my face tomorrow just from talking about it so for me i like tea as in a regular drink if i had to pick like an alcoholic beverage you know i'm gonna go for the liquid marijuana that has been my go-to drink since i first started drinking and it's like no other drink touches that drink first of all it's really good you don't even taste the alcohol in it secondly it gets the job done you cannot have if, I mean, if you want to get lit, all you need is two of them. If you want to be comfortable enough to be busting out wherever you at and not care what anybody thinks, get your liquid marijuana. So, I'm a Cold Stone girl. So, I love Founders Favorite at Cold Stone. Extra caramel. That apple pie alamo was good too. But if I'm going with regular grocery, grocery store ice cream, I'm going to say it's the Dolce de Leche by Hagen dazs So... Yeah, that's been my favorite for a while. Ben and Jerry's, my mom put me on the oatmeal cookie chunk, which is discontinued. They need to bring that back. That was a really, really good ice cream. And we have spent a lot of time trying to recreate it. Matter of fact, I might recreate that ice cream for Thanksgiving this year. I think I want to do that. Because my mom really likes it. And I have found a cookie dough that kind of tastes like the oatmeal cookie used to taste so i might recreate that for my mom so i have just blended out the orange and it's kind of scary how it just looks regular like regular foundation to me on the eyes i like to do my eyes first because in my mind that just makes sense on. let me just get this that seems a lot better so i'm just why am i putting concealer on my face this is space could that so right now i'm just using this as an eyeshadow base because i mean i'm going to a festival so yeah and i'm actually gonna put this right here because i'm gonna need it later i'm gonna need it later so now we could put the eyeshadow on um i got my outfit is real neutral so, if I wanted to, I could go a little crazy on eyes, but I think we're going to keep it kind of neutral today. It's not my thing. So, just a nice, neat line to just 
if I was one of them girls that could just go like that, that would be even right better. Right now, you should be giving smoky looks. So I am the oldest sibling of five. I have two brothers and two sisters. Um, so yeah, my brothers are the older half after me, and then my sisters are part of the younger. Um, so normally I use my Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Y'all know it got me in the choco. Today, let's go for Morphe. More than likely, let's see what this one's giving. This is neutrals. <sighs> I kind of... I don't want to grab for James Charles today. I always go for the James Charles palette. But those colors is just everything to me. This one's kind of boring. But my outfit's kind of boring. So, mm. As y'all know, for pets, I have Ginger, my freaking demon cat. Yeah, we're just going to go with something neutral. I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take this brown here. And that's going to be my crease color. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going for a neutral look. So we just want to swipe that in the crease. If we know where our crease is. All right. So I have that color applied on both eyes now. And if you notice, I did blend it kind of on my nose bridge, kind of to get that contour started on my nose. So, snatch that baby. And to snatch that baby. Favorite movie of all time. I still, to this day, it's got to be Sucker Punch. If you haven't seen Sucker Punch, you should watch it. And my Juvia's Place. Them two, them my top palettes. Ugh. See, like, there's so many good stuff I could do here. Again, if there's so much good stuff, why you ain't made a decision yet? I listen to a lot of music. So, that is another hard question. A favorite song? Oof. Uh, let's see. What is the go-to song that I sing a lot? Session 23 by Summer Walker. And... Okay, nope, nope, no, no. Um, Body by Nico. That one is very. I just I love it. Like that song, just it does something to me. Yeah, that would be my favorite song. Okay, a lot, a lot. It's Show Me Love by Alicia Keys. That was my anthem last year, and. Okay. Last one. We don't talk about Bruno. That, that's my favorite song. And I'm going to stand by it. We do not talk about Bruno. And it's funny because it doesn't look that dark in the palette. But when you put it on, it gives you like this nice ash smoke. I, I freaking love it. The Prada Plan by Ashley Davis. Ah! I lied. Why don't I know what I'm talking about? It's because I got so many different ways I could go about this. Okay, so we're going to do cashmere. Cashmere is going to look cute over musk. And cashmere is just this color at the bottom. And that's a shiny color. It's just going to add that extra oomph. And I'm going to tell you why this book is my favorite book. Because I paid cash hard money on Audibles for every single one out of this series. So it would have to be both sides of the fence. And I want to say it's by M.T. Pope. Um, if I'm wrong, I will correct that. But yeah, both sides of the fence. That book is everything. It's definitely an acquired taste. If you question your sexuality and you're not secure in who you are, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but if you want a good trippy book to read that's going to have you like, oh my God, both sides of the fence.
Hey, baby. Hey, babe. Where you going? I'm recording. Let me see your makeup. Babe, I'm not finished. This is so good, though. But baby. I'm not finished, babe. All right. No I'm not finished with my makeup, baby. Come on. Hey, come on. What? Get low. You're a badass cat. For foundation, I actually use two different ones. I use Smith and Caught. This one is the one I use on my neck. And this is in 400 Warm. And then I use Coconut by Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in the matte poreless. So as you can see, it is a color difference, but it works out. I'm actually going to do my face first because I don't want to mess up the beauty blender if I can find it. I lose everything. But it's when I meet someone is always their smile. It is and their energy like you can pick up on disingenuine energy like I pay a lot of attention to that. Is your smile genuine? Is your smile fake? And normally, I wouldn't wear foundation, but since we color corrected, I gotta cover that up. So, we're gonna just do foundation. Not a lot, because I still like to see my skin, but enough. Let you know you got on foundation. Alrighty, so now I'm just blending down with the Smith and Colt. Yep, Smith and Colt. Yeah, I'm gonna do my liner last because I gotta see where I'm going first. All right, foundation blended, done. Okay. Fine color, and we are going to just put this right at the the top. right there you can put some right here too but i have a different color for that but yeah we're gonna put that right there my elf camo concealer in the color cinnamon place that in between in between the two in between and also on our nose and a little bit here and that's it. That's the only places I really like to put them. <sighs> Let that dry down for a second. Start working that in. I'm just going to set that and it's going to give me that highlighted look that I like under my eye. Which, fun fact, when I was like younger and stuff, I did not like the highlighted under eye. But now that I'm older and I be getting bags, I be like, I want the highlighted under eye. And I just press that down until you can't no more. So now let's go to contour with our Smith and Carl in 290 Cool. This is like the perfect contour shade for me. Size, I'm on the forehead. Contouring is also good if you don't know your um foundation color it'll help you make anything work better just go up and down if you feel like you got too much contour out of cheek all right so now our contour is all blended out so now it's time to set the face and then we can finish up the eyes 
after we finish setting the translucent thing. rich and we are also going to use a powder brush to set our face so i'm just going to and then just oh Okay, so lashes are on. What you think? What you think? Now it's about to be my favorite part, which is how I'm gonna highlight with Nairobi. Oh, that's a lot. It's okay. We gonna make it work. So Nairobi, going on the cheekbones up here. I don't want to overdo it. I am I am a subtle highlight girl. I'm not the oh my god, look at me type of highlight girl. Like, no, it has to make sense for me. It's it's got to make sense. You don't like the boots, babe? The boots. That a spray with our Elf setting spray. Um, this is just to melt everything together. Uh, finish with our NYX Butter Gloss in Gingerbread. And it's just... Mm. Alrighty, so this is the final look. This is what it turned out to be. And I think it came out really pretty. And it looks really good with the outfit. Thanks for watching.